right, now we're finally starting to build that momentum once again. I've settled into my old routine once again. It will be disrupted, no doubt, again when, uh, when I actually officially start my new job. But I'm actually starting to feel hyped up and excited once again. Excited for this journey, of course, but the main thing that's been on my mind is the upcoming road trip. And yeah, I'm really starting to get excited for that because I've actually done some proper planning in the last uh, two days. I'm trying not to over plan, I don't want to spoil the experience for myself, so I'm trying to leave it. A lot of it is, is going to be unplanned, but I mean, I've planned out the route that I'm going to take. It's going to overall be about 3,000 kilometers. So I'm going to guess that's like 1,900 miles or something, but yeah, 3,000 kilometers. So that's by far going to be the longest uh, trip I've ever taken, especially on my own. It's going to be a completely solo road trip on my own, unless I, of course, meet some fellow travelers along the way. We will see. But no, I'm really excited. It will be 3,000 kilometers round trip. So I'm going to be heading south. The main highlight of it of the trip will be Kosciuszko National Park. I'm going to be spending a few days down there. I'm not going to say more. I won't spoil too much of it. But yeah, stop at a few places along the way and of course on the way back because I'm going to have to drive all the way back here at the end. So this will be a long round trip. And yeah, I'll try to I'll drive back the different way than I went down there. I just want to drive the same road. So it'll be a really good loop. And yeah, I mean, I've planned the route that I'm going to take. I've also planned where I'm going to be staying. I'm trying to keep this trip as cheap as possible. I mean, petrol is by far going to be the biggest expense. I've calculated that with the distance I'm driving, it will overall be about six to eight hundred dollars in petrol, depending on how prices are down there. I have heard that down south, um, yeah, it's a bit more, a bit more expensive than up here in Queensland. We're at Queensland. We're at like a dollar eighty per liter at the moment. Yeah, that'll be the biggest cost in terms of accommodation. I'm going to be camping most of the nights for two of them I have booked somewhere to stay. Just whatever cheapest uh, motel and stuff that I can find. Uh, so for two nights I've done that really coincide, strategically coinciding with my longest drives. The first day is going to be like 10 hours of driving so I have booked somewhere to stay on that day. Then there'll be a few days of staying in campgrounds. I found a really cool uh, website actually where you can just put in a location and it will just show, it will just show um, a map of uh, free or very cheap uh, campsites to stay at so most of the nights I'll be camping uh, whether it's out in my car or in my tent I'll have all my hiking gear and everything with me but yeah overall like things are really falling into place now I'm getting excited and pumped up for this trip of course and yeah, I'll be leaving on the 24th. So I'll be going on the 24th to the... 24th to the 30th, I'll be gone. And then I'll have like a weekend, a weekend to uh, rest up and prepare for my job the following week. So yeah, things are falling into place, like finally. Just, yeah, things are happening. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I need to do, taking the action, making the changes. But at the same time, it's like, it just feels like right now everything is finally falling into place and really I just want to talk a bit about patience that's what I want to connect it to today because I've struggled being uh, patient and really patience is such a, an important factor on this journey because part of the reason why I got frustrated before like the last few weeks was because I just wasn't patient like it, it felt like I was putting all this effort in you know wanting wanting all these changes but it just wasn't happening fast enough for my life like I was like damn you know I want this I want this and I want it now like I want change and I want it now that's what I was that's how I was thinking and yeah it's just been a painful reminder of just you know, slow down patience I mean this trip has been on my mind for a while and it's like yeah patience patience really is the key it does pay off in the end and of course, you don't want to rush into anything. I don't want to rush into, I don't, I don't want to just go on this trip and just rush everywhere. I want to be in the moment, enjoy, and just have that patience. And that's the same thing with this whole um, NoFap thing. And it's like patience, like recovery is not linear. It's not an overnight change where all of a sudden, oh, I'm cured. No, it's a, li it's a long, long-term, lifelong journey. So yeah, I'm ready to play a long game. And yeah, I'll do my best to just yeah be patient and 
yeah, good things will come to those who are patient. Like I, I have, I've experienced that in the past. Like it's always when I'm trying to force things and <coughs> get things done fast. Like that's when things all fall apart and everything becomes turns to chaos. But then when I found when I, when I'm patient, when I just take things slow, step by step, that's when things really start falling in place. And I have, I have made mistakes, no doubt. But really, this year I've also I have put in the work. I have. Taken, taken the necessary action and now it's like change is finally happening so yeah be patient you know just realize you're not going to solve this problem overnight uh, whatever whatever challenges you're facing but if you're patient if you're consistent and you just stay dedicated and just don't give up you'll get there so, yeah that's it subscribe if you haven't already join the discord give the video a like and i shall see you all in the next one ciao